Hello tea drinkers, I'm Andy Rioters at Operation Cup of Tea. Um, after making the last video with the English breakfast martini, uh, which was good fun, I thought I'd do another one because obviously um, not everybody likes tea and even more likely uh, with a gin based cocktail not everyone's going to like gin. So um, seeing that Operation Cup of Tea is all about uh, solidarity and inclusion, um, I'm going to do a coffee based drink and um, it's the vodka espresso, or what's now become more commonly known as the espresso martini. Uh, so we've got a glass again, and our ingredients I'll go through in a second. That's a good fun drink. The ingredients are even uh, more easy to pick up um, at local supermarkets. Vodka and uh, Kahlua coffee liqueur. And I've got some fresh espresso that I brewed a second ago uh, on the hob here. And um, you can really get creative with it. If you like chocolate, you could put chocolate liqueur in it. Um, if you like rum, even you can do it with dark rum, and um, and and yeah, it's again really simple to make. Into our icy glass that's been back in the freezer, I'm going to pour a double shot of, in this case, Russian standard vodka. Any vodka will do. I mean, I'm not really a fan of Smirnoff. Um, I don't really like it too much. It's given me a few raging hangovers in the past. Uh, there's also no need to spend big bucks on, on, on Grey Goose or Belvedere for a cocktail like this because you're going to add cheap ingredients um, like Kahlua there. So double shot of vodka, it's pretty strong. You can scale back if you want to, or you can scale up if you're a nutter. And a single shot of Kahlua, which is sweet, so we're not going to add any more um, sugar to this drink. You can if you want to, but I'm personally not going to. So that's our alcohol. And then a shot of coffee, and hopefully I've got enough here. Nice, hot, fresh coffee. The fresher the better, and pro preferably espresso rather than instant, instant coffee or anything like that. Um, now I've got a Boston shaker, cocktail shaker, full of ice. If you don't have a cocktail shaker, you can pick them up quite cheap at, at good supermarkets now, but you could use a, a pasta sauce jar, for example, um, clean it out really well, something glass better than plastic because you'll clean it out better and just put the lid on there and, 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 and shake it up anyway. Um, but uh, I've got a cocktail shaker. So that's full of ice and this is our mixture and we're going to shake it like we would a looter and uh, hopefully get it all nice and cold. We can see on the tin that it's gone um, nice and frosty, which hopefully means this is nice and cold now. So cold that it's sealed together. And martini glass, but you could put that into a rocks glass if you wanted to, or a tea cup, or a tea, oh yeah, a coffee cup, or a mug or something. Double strained it just to keep out little shards of ice, and there you go. That is our going to settle in a second into an espresso martini. Cheers, everyone! Mm, lovely. The sun's come out now. It actually tipped it down the rain after the last video. Um, yeah, take care. Thanks very much.